Could witches be more spiritual than you? The church has fallen short of its job to be the light and the salt of the earth. We have not taken up our authority to be the head and not the tail. The Lord has revealed to me through a prophetic vision in the form of a story exposing how witches are more spiritual than most of us as Christians. First of all, the Lord just wants me to explain that there are uh, two different spiritual realms. There's probably more than that, but today I'm only going to discuss two of them. And one of them is referred to as the second heaven, and one is referred to the third heaven. But right now I'm going to talk about the second heaven. And the second heaven is the place where Satan and his demonic uh, angels communicate and hang out and this is where they rule from this is the place where psychics and other people who worship him communicate from i mean have you ever wondered how a psychic knows everything about you if you've ever been to a psychic i hope you haven't but if you have ever been to a psychic have you ever wondered how they know everything about you? Or you watch these TV programs and you see these psychics on TV and it's like amazing that they can read people in the audience. Well, this is how they do that. They do this through the second realm and it's a very real spiritual realm. Now the good news is that there is another realm called the third heaven and i can just explain to you through a vision that the lord gave me about the third heaven um he took me we were together in, in this vision and he took me to the top of a mountain and i'm standing on the top of this mountain and you know how on the top of a mountain you can be above clouds or maybe even in the clouds. Well, in this vision, I was standing above the clouds and I could see below me these kind of red winged vulture like creatures that were just flying below me. And these were some demonic creatures. And the Lord said to me, you know, that was the second heaven and they were below me, below us, below where we were. And he said, as long as you're up here with me, in the third heaven they cannot touch you satan knows nothing about what's going on in heaven he knows nothing about what's happening in the throne room of god he knows nothing about the plans that god has the only thing that he can do is try to thwart the plans of god and he does this by using people who pray into the second heaven people who are witches and other people who actually pray into that realm and some may, might not even know that they're doing it but i'm just going to share with you just this little uh, snippet of a vision that the lord gave me um, about what's happening with the spirit realm in here um and the title of the story is called the three witches there once were these three witches named Rose, Dawn, and Clarabelle. These three witches believed in the supernatural and all that it was capable of. They would say their incantations daily to invoke the spirits and call them down. They believed in the power and because of this belief, the powers that be were enacted. They would also mix their potions and herbs to cause certain things to happen. Each potion had prayers spoken into them to cause this action to happen. If anyone were to drink this potion with the understanding of the events to come, they would reap these incidences because they were in agreement with the witches and believed that they could do what they said. And the impression that I got from this from the Lord was that 
these witches were praying so fervently. I could see in the vision. It was like their daily life. Uh, it was their daily devotion. And they knew and understood fervently that what they were praying was going to happen. It was going to come forth. And the Lord was revealing to me that most Christians don't know or understand or believe how powerful the spirit realm is or even how powerful their own voice is. When you prophesy and speak into your own world, you can prophesy your future. You can prophesy life or death, as the Lord says in scripture, that the, the tongue has the power for life and death. So the overall thing that the Lord wants us to understand or what he was trying to get me to grasp in this is that we are more powerful and the third heaven is more powerful than this second heaven and we're letting the forces of darkness rule. We're letting the forces of darkness be more powerful and stronger. We're, we're, we're basically just, you know, doing our lives and, you know, watching Netflix and, you know, watching our movies. And, you know, those things are fine, you know, but if we let that be more important than our spiritual life and the Lord wants you to be comfortable in the spirit realm. He doesn't want you to be afraid of the spirit realm. I think there's a lot of fear about approaching the spirit realm or even understanding it because there's been a lack of teaching in this area. But it's time for us to understand and take back our authority and exercise it in this time and be the head and not the tail. And so the bottom line here is that God wants us to take back our authority and pray with belief. Pray with faith that what we are speaking and praying for will come to pass and to know that we have authority. So check out my latest video if you want to see another prophetic word that the Lord gave me concerning fasting and prayer and this time of seeking the kingdom and taking back our authority.